hi loves what is up i'm back with another client video install and i'm going to show you guys how i achieved this very nice frontal install on my beautiful client you guys this was really very easy to do it didn't take me long to do at all um guys look at that all right so we're just going to jump right into this video um the hair that i am using in this video is from unice hair you guys, I'm pretty sure, are very familiar with um, Eunice, Eunice, however you want to pronounce it. Um, their hair is very good, high quality. This is their 24-inch straight lace frontal wig. And I believe this is a 13 by 6 because the parting in this wig was very um, long, which I absolutely love the 13 by 6s because, you know, you can do so much more with them. You just have more variety when it comes to parting space and a deeper part at that so right now i am just braiding her hair back and i did about eight to ten braids i believe so yeah i we were doing a middle part in this video so um another trick is you actually want to if you if you have an issue with aligning your braids to where it's um braided correctly in the middle you can actually start from the middle and do your two braids on each side and then just finish up the rest so there's a little trick that you can do but you really just want to make sure that when you're doing middle part installs that there is no braid right in the middle of their head because then it won't lay flat if that makes sense so I'm just finishing up braiding her hair and guys all of the information for the wig and the company will be listed in the description box down below so make sure that you guys go ahead check them out they're super affordable and i absolutely love their hair it was super silky and very nice um bone straight and it pressed out amazing so right now i'm going in and all i did was just um slick her edges back and it's time to apply the cap I like to stretch the cap out before putting it on um, the client's head because the cap is already super tiny. So stretching it out before we apply it kind of makes it a bit looser. So now we are just making sure that the cap is her skin complexion. So I just added some foundation to the cap. And you guys know that this is a must. You cannot have the cap underneath that wig without it matching their skin complexion you're gonna be able to see it and i actually did all of the customization of the wig off camera i bleached it already and i plucked it as well and i tried to pluck it as good as i as good as possible um the hairline of the frontal was actually a little bit thick so i had to do a bit more plucking than usual but um it worked out so right now she's underneath the dryer and I allow my clients to sit under there for about at least five to 10 minutes just until the cap dries. And I use the free spray to actually dry her cap. So once that is done, I'm going in with my scissors and we're gonna cut off the excess um, cap because it's unnecessary. And the key with this is you just wanna make sure that you are cutting the cap as close to her hairline as possible because the further down the cap is on the client's hairline the further down you have to put the wig and we want the wig to look super natural and mimic her hairline and just be like an inch in front of her hairline instead of like two three inches that is the goal that is the objective and yeah so you want to be careful when you're doing this part because you don't want to cut your client so you do need sharp scissors my scissors were actually a little bit dull so it was a little bit more difficult to cut the um, fabric of the cap because you know it's stretchy so you just want to be careful when you're doing this and do not cut your clients i was looking at them so it's like why are you not cutting All right, so now I cut off as much of the um, cap as I can, and then I'll go ahead and size the unit on their head first. And when I size it on their head, I see if I need to cut any more of that cap back or, you know, just, just measuring it, making sure that when I do apply the glue that everything kind of fits perfectly. So this is me just sizing everything up 
and this step is actually very important and i highly recommend that you do this just to see how everything is laying so as you guys can see it was a little part that was overlapping the actual um lace frontal so i had to cut that cap off so that when we apply the wig everything fits perfectly and you don't see any of that cap so voila now that we've done that it's time to clean her skin off with some alcohol and i like to do about two layers of just cleaning her skin off making sure that all of the oil residue is off and you guys know the drill we are using the bohold active glue and i like to use about four coats of this in the summertime um and i love using the popsicle sticks i don't really care for the rat tail combs or for my finger i used to i just don't anymore and you know the fact that i have so many clients a day having glue on my fingers just it just it doesn't help anyone <laughs> especially myself so i like to use the popsicle sticks they're so much more cleaner and yeah so we're just gonna go in between the layers and keep on applying Alright, so now I'm pulling the wig down into the glue and when you're doing this you want to make sure that you are stretching that lace because you don't want any of that lace rolled up because once you cut the lace off you will be able to see everything and I just like to ask them to hold each side of the frontal as I am putting it down on their um, forehead and making sure that everything is pressed into the glue asking them to do this actually helps so much and I just like to use that comb sometimes and just press the lace into the glue so we have them hold the other side and just continue to apply pressure that's the most important part when you are doing this you just want to make sure that everything is like nice and secure And you guys know I like to add heat while I'm in this process as well. Alright, so now it is time to cut that lace off and I am using the eyebrow razor to do this. You guys know I prefer this over using scissors or just anything else i really love this because you know it creates more of those rigid lines which are always helpful and then you want to do the same thing all around so there is no more lace and you really just want to cut as close to the hairline as possible you don't want any excess lace peeking out If you guys want a more detailed video on like how I install my wigs, then leave a comment down below. If you guys want me to do a video on a specific style, also leave a comment down below. Majority of my clients don't really get styles. They really just get like side parts or middle parts if they want crimps, curls, or it's straight. So I really do whatever the client wants. But if you guys want like something a little bit more creative, let me know. Leave a comment down below in the um, comment section. And yeah, leave some ideas for me as well. I feel like you guys will be getting a lot of client videos just because I don't really have a lot of time to install these wigs on myself. Okay, <laughs> so um, right now it is baby hair time. 
this is the part where everyone loves to see and i asked my clients to take their mask off because the mask is just it just be in the way okay so we need that off and i just like to part out sections of the hair and yeah so once you do that um the best thing to do would be to cut the hairs as short as you can now you do not want to cut the hair super short because if you do that it's going to look very weird you kind of need the perfect length and i'm going to say maybe an inch of hair is the perfect baby hair length so i like to wrap the hair up because i know as soon as i do those baby hairs i am going to lay those sandex strips and i lay about four of them to keep them tied down plus an elastic band so we want to get the hair out of the way so that we can hurry up and do this because sometimes the lace will lift a lot of stylists do not tell you that but when you are applying that mousse to the lace majority of the time it does lift the key is to just hurry up and tie it down so right now i like to apply the mousse to the actual hairline first to kind of smoothen everything out so that when i am doing the baby hairs and i include the baby hair into the actual hair itself everything is nice and blended so I start with the hairline and I'm using a Nairobi foam. I don't use anything else. I love this foam. It works great. Um, just a little tip. If your client has 613 hair, I do not recommend Nairobi foam because it does have a blue tint. So if you use this foam on 613 hair, then the hair will turn blue. <laughs> just a little tip. I have done that before and I was stressed. I wasn't even thinking, but um, yeah, it's common sense. So right now, I just like to apply the mousse on the actual hair and I'm just making sure that I am being very gentle with doing this process. You wanna make sure that you are taking your time and I was actually doing like those swirly baby hair trend. Um, you know, a lot of people have been loving that look. So I have actually been doing this type of baby hair look for some time now. And I'm getting the hang of it. I think I'm doing a better job at them. But as you guys can see, you really just want to be very gentle. Take your time. And you want to move fast. You don't want to apply too much pressure on the lace either. And, you know, you just want to make sure that you're taking your time doing this. And using a very light hand. And, yeah, that is pretty much it for the baby hairs. If you guys want an in-depth tutorial of that, then let me know. I didn't do anything you know much all I did was go ahead tie her hair down press her hair out and this was pretty much the end result of her hair I just combed through the baby hairs in the end so that they weren't sticking on her forehead because I don't really like that look and this is the completed look you guys um, yeah again this hair is from Unis. check the description box down below before we go today's motivational quote is Relax and remind yourself that you are doing all you can. Everything is going to turn out just fine with God's help. So with that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to your girl's channel, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.